Weekly Shot here, the publisher of the Orange String News. For the past three weeks, the OSN has been covering a series of stories on an alleged KKK member charged with ethnic intimidation right here in Seals Grove. Now, new information discovered by the Orange Street News suggests that the allegations on Stephanie Medeker, the suspect, might be true, and that she is inspired by the hate of people who aren't white. Here are some of the posts the Orange Street News discovered on Medeker social media accounts include. This video advocates against violence against non-white people. Lyrics in this song include a line that non-white should, quote, hang from trees. A song called Quit Your Bitches, which included lyrics, Quit Your Bitches, or I'll get you due, because the Ku Klux Klan will come a-calling on you. Other racially charged posts include her message, White Power, along with a link to a video called Skinhead, and a video called Romper Stomper, pulling on the boots, which included the lyric, Then they plead for mercy, we will show them none. Skinhead, skinhead, so the job is done. Other posts on her Facebook page reveal that she loves pumpkin spice, is afraid of clowns, roots for the Dallas Cowboys, and nope, so don't feel guilty for being white. Her legal trouble began when she allegedly began frightening the non-white man who lives in the apartment above her on 19 S. Third Street, according to police. Then, on July 19th, the dispute took a turn for the worse when Mittiger allegedly told the victim that she is connected with the KKK and that if he doesn't get out of the country, there will be trouble. The Orange Street News sat down with the alleged victim, who asked us to keep his name and voice disguised. Here's the interview. Hi, this is Hildy Kate Lee Shack, the publisher of the Orange Street News. Right now, I'm here with the alleged victim of an alleged KKK member. Um, hi, thank you for speaking with me. Sure, my pleasure. Oh, so I was thinking we could just get right into the questions. Sure. So, I read the criminal complaint, and if the, what the police say is true, Stephanie said some pretty harsh things. So, all my readers are kind of wondering for your side of the story. So, I was wondering if you could tell us what happened from the beginning. Um, it started a few months ago, when I first went, after I moved in, after, uh, basically, they were, I would pass by, um, and she would be sitting there banging with a broom all day long. So I text my landlord asking him if they can please speak to them and it's when everything escalated. This is a no a smoking pot uh, living area. So they were smoking so much it was affecting like my clothes and everything. So I complained again to the landlord that you know the smoke was affecting me. He talked to them they started opening windows. I got that because it was a little uncomfortable. So, in the affidavit of probable cause in the criminal complaint, apparently she sent you a Facebook message that read, Don't F with me, wet back, I'm wrong, effing person. I belong to the KKK. Get the F out of this country. Right. Um, so, did she send you any other Facebook messages is what I'm wondering? No, prior to that, my three-year-old daughter was staying here with me, and she was banging and banging, so I went downstairs, I knocked on the door, and I asked if they can please stop with the banging, that my three-year-old was getting scared. So they told me pretty much some more nasty racial things, uh, and I texted my landlord. And it all started because I texted my landlord, and he asked them to please stop with the banging and the noise. As you can see, I like peace and So, on a personal level, how did this me the Facebook message affect you? Uh, it, it saddened me that this day and age that I, I would receive something like that, or anyone would receive something like that. It's pretty disgusting. And do you know if she got arrested or where she is now? I've been actually trying to track her down. I knocked on her door a bunch of times, but um, I can't be, I'm not able to figure out where she is. Unfortunately, I can't answer that. And do you think that there's a lot of racism in Seals Grove, or do you think this was an isolated incident? Um, I don't think there's a lot of racism. I, I know I am firsthand, this is not my first experience uh, with it. It does exist. It's not something that I would say is a huge, problem, but it's something that exists and something that I have experienced multiple times. So you said this happened before? Right. Not with that person, but uh, so that's walking in the street, you get sometimes some 
nasty comments and you learn to just rub it off and keep it moving. The On Street News has attempted several phone calls, messages, and door knocks to Mini Girl's house, but no one has responded. The On Street News will update the story with the full response if it comes to get both sides of the story. Last week, a warrant was issued for Mini Girl's arrest after she didn't show up to face the charges. If you know where Midiger is, please contact me, Hildy Kate Leeshack at hildyleeshack at gmail.com. I'm Hildy Kate Leeshack. Thanks for watching.